want to know how to make a French crepe with a track saw? Well then stay tuned for this step-by-step -step tutorial. Hi, my name is Kim with Kim Imagine DIY, where I hope to help you imagine the possibility with DIYs and crafts. If that sounds like fun, consider subscribing. Now let's just jump right into this project. I'm working on installing some upper cabinets in my laundry room by myself. With some research, it seemed that using French cleats would be the easiest option. For my cleat, I decided to purchase a 1x4x6 foot common board from Home Depot. First, you will need to measure the length of your cleat you will need for your project. My cabinet is 18 inches wide. I decided to cut my cleat 17 inches. Because I know I will need a fillet board for a gap between the cabinet and the wall. I measured 17 inches and used a speed square to create my line. The circular blades they fix can usually vary around an eighth of an inch. Therefore, you want to eye up the edge of the blade's teeth to the outer edge of your line. In my case, I measured 17 inches on the left side of the wood and I lined up my blade to the right side of the line. Once you have that set, clamp your wood down. I always recommend using safety glasses and earmuffs when working with power tools. Start the chop saw when it's pressing at the open position because there can be a kickback. Then carefully cut all the way through the board. Keep the chop saw down and release the trigger to activate the brake. Luckily, I was able to borrow some tools from a family friend. You can do this entire project with a track saw, but since I had access to a chop saw, I decided to use it. Find the center measurement of your board. Next, we're going to estimate the length of the 45 degree cut. Use a speed square to draw a 45 degree line on the thickness of your board. Next, draw a vertical line at each end of the 45 degree angle. Now measure the distance between the two lines. I have about three quarters of an inch. Take your measurement and divide it by two so we can find what the center dimension would be from the blade's cut width. Now take that measurement and add it to the center measurement of your board. If you have any tips on cutting French cleats, please put it in the comments below so we can all learn. Now we finally have the measurement for lining your track onto the board. Having the larger side of the board away from me, just like the blade will be. With the track clamped into place, I ran the saw, pressing it into the track since it's very off balance, being on the 45 degree angle. You can see how excited I was since it was the first time I made a cleat and used the track saw. Now for my cabinet, I need to make a spacer block for the bottom to mount it parallel to the wall. Otherwise, it's gonna sit at an angle. I used leftover wood and cut two small blocks. Since it doesn't have any weight on it, it doesn't need to be a particular size, just as long as it's the same thickness, which obviously because I'm using the excess pieces of wood board. Now here's a clip of the Solo install. Is it heavy? Yes. But I was able to install it by myself so, mission accomplished. And keep your eye out for a future video on how to install these cabinets. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can click the card right up here or click here for an entire playlist. And I will see you in the next video.